Hi, Con. Hey, Con. Hey, John and Adam, congratulations on your brand new book. Thank you very much. Thank that you. Means a appreciate lot to it. Us. Now, with two alpha males sitting as close as you are, how in the world did you guys work together? <laughs> That's actually a really, really interesting question. Uh, we work together really well. We have a writing process that allows both of us to utilize our strengths. And that is what being the alpha is all about. It is not about being the best at everything. It's about being the best version of you so that you can best serve the world. And a lot of times that means being part of a team and playing your part to the absolute fullest. You know, on a football team, the, the linemen that protect the quarterback are every bit as important as the quarterback himself. And understanding that mentality has helped us work together and work with numerous other people on this monumental project. And it's what's allowed us to work with someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who wrote the foreword for the book. Arnold is the alpha's alpha. And if, if we couldn't figure out ways that we could work with other driven, confident people, then that would really result in not being able to create the book. And by doing that, we have drawn from our own experiences and created lessons and tactics that men can use to help become the alpha in their own life. Well, the title is great. The back cover promises insane sex. So you've got every man on the planet ready to, uh, to listen. But has the process been that harmonious to you? Uh, I, I think what's been great about this is that we really wanted to battle test the concept. And by that, we started with trying to identify all the different problems that were troubling men. And whether that was trouble losing fat, trouble gaining muscle, uh, trouble with your sex life or having energy. And we tried to find out where all these problems derive from. And it came down to that there was this hormonal issue that affected all men. I mean, if you think of hormones, a lot of guys just think that, oh, my hormones won't be an issue until I'm older, or maybe not at all, because a lot of people think of hormones, they think of women. Right. And then once we identified this issue, we wanted to test it. We had more than 300 men go through this process, and we found out that these guys were not only suffering from low hormone levels, such as low testosterone, but also that these levels were being affected as guys as young as their 20s, and then that when we put these lifestyle changes, and this is not talking about needing shots or creams or, or seeing your doctor, when you just made these everyday changes to your life, hormonal environment improved, and then all these goals that they were struggling to achieve, the fat loss, the muscle gain, the sex drive, all of that came with it. And that's when we really felt that we needed to come out with this idea and share it with everyone because if it made a difference for more than 300 guys, it probably meant that it was going to make a difference for all guys. Well, you talk about so much from hormones, nutrition, exercise. Let's leave it with this. Two, pick two points out of the book you would love each of us men to do starting today. Uh, as Adam said, get more sleep. But the, the thing that I would focus on is eat more of the foods that you love. And these are things that guys love, things like steak, and eggs and bacon because healthy saturated fats help increase healthy cholesterol, HDL, and that in turn helps increase testosterone levels. So that's the number one thing that I would recommend. Yeah, mine would be that uh, weight training is going to be the most effective form of exercise. And the idea here is you don't need to go to the gym for an hour or two. Something to really key on is picking the right type of exercises, so these compound movements, things like deadlifts, squats that are going to involve more muscle groups, and making sure that your workouts are more intense. So rather than making your workouts longer, make them shorter and more effective and push that intensity level. And that way you don't have to worry about time being an excuse and you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck out of that workout than spending endless hours either doing more exercises that you don't need or slogging away on a treadmill. Well, I've enjoyed reading your book. I, I signed up for, for CrossFit because of this book, and I'm seeing results, and I want to thank you for caring about us guys to make us feel better and look better. So thank you for the book. Well, thank you so much for having us. We really do appreciate it, Con. Thank you.